This video provides a quick overview of Indigo Studio and how to rapidly prototype user stories. For this exercise, we'll simulate a sign-up experience on a mobile phone. I picked this example because it's common and easy to follow. In this simulation, on selecting Sign Up, users will see a dialog for entering new account details. On submitting the form, there is a brief processing delay, after which a success state is shown. From here, selecting Continue will navigate to the content area. To start building this prototype, create a new project from the main app menu. This takes you to the project home view, which is empty as we haven't designed anything yet. We'll be using screens to complete this prototype. Let's create a new screen and pick iPhone from the available choices. Let's rename this screen to Sign Up by double-clicking on the Screen tab. For prototyping user stories, all you need is to answer three questions. What will the user see? What will they do next? And what's the result of their action? Let's answer the first question. What will the user see? For our exercise, users will see two buttons, one for Sign Up and another for signing in with Twitter. We can drag and drop UI elements from the toolbox on the right. You can also add new UI elements holding down the Alt key on the keyboard and clicking on the design surface, like so, and searching. I've also added an image in the background for some context. Now let's answer the question, what will the user do? They will try to sign up by tapping the Sign Up button. To do this, select the Sign Up button and add a new interaction. The default is Tap. In addition to creating separate screens and linking them together, Indigo Studio supports UI states that live inside a single screen. States make sense when the context of the user story stays the same. Creating a new state inherits everything from the previous state or parent state, and hence is identical. Let's answer the final question. What's the result of the user action? In this case, users will see a sign-up form inside a dialog. To achieve this, all we need is to design changes the user will see. To create this dialog, let's use a container UI element. You can either drag and drop or use Alt and a mouse drag to visually define a height and width and search for one. Double clicking on the container lets you edit the content and add the required form fields. With the shortcuts for adding UI elements, you can even hide the toolbox altogether. The animation timeline is always recording the changes made to the new UI state, changes that set it apart from the parent state. We can animate the changes by giving it a duration. For instance, we want the background to fade out as the dialog fades in. For that, I'm going to drag out the right edge of the change. At any point while prototyping, view the flow you have created using the Interactions Explorer. It shows how the UI states are connected by interactions. It's minimized by default, but you can expand it to view a thumbnail view. You will also see this view when you want to add an interaction to point to an existing UI state. Say, for example, when adding a close button to go back to a previous state. Now, let's add an interaction to submit the form and in the process create a new state. On a success state, I made some changes to design what the user would see. I also added some duration to animate the changes. That is, I moved the form down and the background image up before adding new UI elements. On tapping Continue, instead of creating another state, this time I'll create a new screen and design what the users will see. At any point, you can click on Run Screen to try the prototype. To share this prototype with others, sign in and publish it on indigodesigns.com from the project home. You can send this link to your reviewers and they can access the prototype on any device. No installs required. And that's it. This completes our quick introduction on how you can quickly prototype user stories using Indigo Studio. Just remember the three questions for efficiently prototyping user flows. What will the user see? What will they do next? What's the result of their action? Visit help.indigodesigned.com for other detailed help topics.